This is a great sauce to make and freeze while you have a surplus of tomatoes from your garden. Grab your tomatoes and crock pot and you're set, says Stephanie Lane, the All Recipes member who submitted this recipe. Sounds easy enough. Let's give it a shot. First, to the pot of a slow cooker set to high, add half a cup of vegetable oil, four chopped onions, four cloves of minced garlic, and one chopped green bell pepper. Give this a stir and cook the vegetables until the onion is transparent between an hour and an hour and a half. Alternatively, if you don't have a crock pot, you could make this sauce in a large stock pot on the stove. Next, add 16 cups of chopped tomatoes to the slow cooker. Any type of tomato works for this sauce. Stephanie and many others say they just use what they've grown in their garden. We're using Roma or plum tomatoes here. Now, add two tablespoons of dried oregano a quarter of a cup of chopped fresh parsley, two tablespoons of dried basil, a quarter of a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, and three quarters of a teaspoon of ground black pepper to the slow cooker. Stir everything to combine. Set your slow cooker to low. Cover and cook the sauce for two to three hours, stirring frequently. Once the sauce is cooked, let it cool completely. Then fill three quart-sized freezer containers. Label and store the sauce in your freezer until you're ready to use it. To cook, thaw the sauce in the refrigerator, then heat it in a saucepan over medium heat. Stir in a six ounce can of tomato paste per quart. Continue to stir it over medium heat until it's incorporated well and heated through. Serve the sauce hot on top of your favorite pasta. All Recipes member Krista W. says, what a great basic recipe. Thanks for the perfect way to empty my garden and fill my freezer with a healthy sauce that I can use for pizzas, lasagna, spaghetti, or just dipping bread in. Yum.